one uh, player you hear so much about right. that uh, um, actually has been he's had a few hits here and there, but he hasn't had the uh, explosive game that uh, you know that he's been known for for the uh, Sooners this season. Needs this lineup at RBIs with 15. Nobody else is even in double figures no. in the starting lineup today. Boise got the relief, got the uh, save last night. Had a great catch at uh, shortstop in late innings yesterday. He's actually had a save in both of the first two games of the series. He's got two saves. He leads the team with three, and two of them in this series. Boise well, looking in now with a 1-0 count in his favor. Man on first, one out here in the top of the first. Ball away. 2-0 now. 90 miles an hour on that one for Cuspis, so he's got some heat. Cuspis probably is the hardest throwing pitcher the runners have. He's normally the starting right fielder. Um, I think he had eight assists last season out of right, right field, so he's got a good arm, uh, and then uh, now he's on the mound. As again, they're still kind of sort through who's going to pitch. Uh, he's going to be looked upon possibly to be a starter next weekend because of Stephen G's situation. As people may or may not know, G pitched on Thursday, who's Bakersfield's uh, – starting pitcher Thursday and strained his right forearm when he when his cleats caught on the mound and he fell awkwardly and uh, in the third inning and wound up being gone in the fourth. Pops it up to right field. And drifting and gets it. That's Sergio Robles yeah, out Sergio there. Sergio Robles with the put out. First baseman, number 42, Jack Flansburg. Jack Flansburg last night. Had a pretty good game, had a home run. Yeah, a towering shot to right yep. field. Uh, <laughs> He's hit cleanup last night, hit second in the order on Thursday night. Had a little argument about Jack Flamberg's socks yesterday, Jeff and I, but. I'm not going to let that one down, am I? No. <laughs> Gray uniforms, red trim for the Sooners. Seems to be in the yellow tops, the gold tops, and the white pants. Ball one to. Flansburg. Flansburg is hitting 333. Three home runs on the season, eight RBI. He's also walked 16 times. His on base percentage is 471. So that's uh, that's very good. That's why he was hitting second, I think. You know, you want to get guys on base up the top of the order. Here comes the 1 0 pitch from straight away and fouls it off to the down the third base side. Got it roped off down in, down the left field line into foul territory yeah. today. Uh, last couple of nights they've had a lot of times you'll see young people out there playing catch with their dads, and they've, uh, they've today they have that roped off, so uh, discouraging people from running back there. That would be back behind the bullpen on the visiting side. Beautiful day for baseball here at Hartfield. Runner going, and he's going to get there with the stolen base. Yeah, he's running on the pitch and uh, the breaking ball low and. Uh, Jake Ortega dropped it, and then once that happened, no chance in any kind of an effort to even try to throw him out. So Ortega going to go out there now to talk to Cuspeth. It was a good pitch to run on. It was a breaking ball anyway, and uh, I think uh, Harris had a very nice jump. Um, that is his third stolen base in four attempts. So, uh, you know, uh, Oklahoma's aggressive base running team. They've got good power. In fact, everybody in the starting lineup, with the exception of number seven hitter Austin O'Brien, has at least one stolen base this year. So uh, I would not be a bit surprised to see them try to take advantage of some of that base right. running speed. Two and one now the count. Two out here in the top of the first. Chance Cuspeth, your pitcher for the Roadrunners. Base off against Jack Flansburg. Up the middle, right to Malik Jones. He's going to make the play and gets him. So on the put out, 6-3. Nice start to things, Jeff. 